high end does not have to also have the big expensive price tag. Hi, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. We recently finished a big remodel on our bathroom. If you missed that, I will put that up in the iCards as well as down in the description box. You can go back and watch that and get caught up with that. But there was still some accessories I really wanted to create for our new space, but I definitely didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm excited to share with you really easy ways to create your own bathroom accessories using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I also want to thank the original Super Glues, Super Unix, for sponsoring this video. All right, so first up is a back of the toilet box. I'm going to be using these really great wood signs. They are good and heavy, high quality. Uh, signs are about an inch thick by 18 inches long. So I have three of those. I'm also going to be using these wood planks that you can find in their craft section. They come in a pack of six. I love these. These come in handy for lots of different projects. Uh, I'm actually going to be using my miter saw to cut down my pieces because it's quicker, but you can also use a handsaw and miter box. It will fit in there just fine. And since it's only a few cuts, it will definitely work for this project if you don't have a miter saw. And then to put this whole thing together, I'm gonna to be using my Super Unix by the original Super Glue. This is one of the staple supplies that I always keep in my craft stash and in my craft room because it has extreme power, but I also really love that it is odorless. So it's a little bit different than your traditional super glue. It's also a gel base. So it gives you about 10 seconds before it starts setting up to be able to move your pieces around on your projects. And then once it dries, it has extreme power and it creates a super strong bond. This is a product you can use on pretty much any type of material, including glass, ceramic, plastic, even foam. So a really, really great product to keep in your craft stash. You can find this at Hobby Lobby and I'll also put a link for it down in the description box below so you can check that out there. Now I will go ahead and insert the measurements for all of the pieces that I cut so that you can recreate this, but just know that you can adjust those measurements to fit whatever size you need for your space too. All right, so now I am down in my workshop. I'm gonna start by cutting two of these down to 14 inches long. And then for the third one, I'm gonna cut two pieces at five and a quarter inches long. You can also come over to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you'll find daily inspiration. I'll make sure to link those both down in the description box below. All right, and then here's a quick look of how these are going to go together. So these end pieces are going to butt up to the insides of the longer pieces like this. And then we're gonna be using these pieces for the bottom. So I may have to cut a little bit off of one. So I have five of these planks here and I do. So these are about the right length, but this last one here is hanging off the end here. So I'm gonna take that over to my miter saw and just trim that down too. All right, so here's all of my pieces cut down now. Here's that little piece that I had to just cut a little sliver off. So again, I have two at five and a quarter inches two at 14 inches and then these are all the full size i just had to cut off maybe a quarter of an inch of one so that it would fit so if you want to make your box a quarter of an inch longer you won't necessarily have to cut one of those down so i'm going to go ahead and paint all of my pieces first with my white chalk paint and then after they're dry i will assemble them if you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs, please take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. Not only does that help my channel, but it also shows me that these are the types of videos that you are looking for.
All right, and now we're gonna put this together. So we're gonna sit up these longer pieces like this. And we're gonna use our Super Unix Super Glue to put it all together. So what I'm gonna do is add my glue onto the ends of the shorter pieces, just like this. And I'm gonna sandwich those pieces in between the longer pieces, just like this. I did one side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And now I'm going to add my little plank pieces. I'm gonna start in the middle with that smaller piece since it is just an awkward piece and that way it's just in the middle, it's not really seen at all on an end. So I'm gonna set these up in here first and then I will use my Super Unix to glue down around the edges. And then I have all this paint out here to use as weights so that the glue can dry with some weight on top of it and it won't move around. As you can see from all of my bottles of paint, I love my Waverly chalk paint. Obviously I have quite a few different colors, but I would love to hear what your favorite color of this chalk paint is. I've really fallen in love with the color silver lining lately. It's that light gray one towards the front next to the black, but I'd love to hear what is your favorite Waverly chalk paint color. You can leave those down in the comments below. Alright, so here's the box all put together and dry. I thought it'd be really cute to add a little decal onto the front. So we kind of have a cottage-ish vintage vibe going on in our bathroom. Really a timeless kind of look. So what I've done here is added the phrase fresh soap and water five cents. So I'm going to add that to the front of here. If you don't have a vinyl machine, I will have this one in my Etsy shop. You can go down in the description box and I will link it down there for you. And I'll go ahead and add this to the front of my tray and I'll be ready for the bathroom. All right, and now this next technique is one of my absolute favorite DIY projects. It's creating your own mercury glass. So these two jars are from Dollar Tree. I love it because you can take things like this that maybe you have around your house, use a spaghetti jar even, hit the thrift store, find unique jars, and then you can give them the mercury glass look very easily by using this Krylon spray paint. And this is called Looking Glass, so it gives it that really brilliant glossy silver chrome finish. And then in this bottle, I have two parts water, one part vinegar. And what we're gonna do is spray our glass. Now, ideally you'd want to spray the inside of your jars, but since I wanna use these for Q-tips and cotton balls, I don't wanna spray the insides of my jars. I'm gonna do the outsides. So leave it up to you what you wanna do for yours. It kind of, kind of gives it a better look if you do the inside, but since I'm using it for actual items for the bathroom, I don't wanna do that. So. All we have to do is take our spray paint, give them a good coat. I'm gonna make sure I take the lids off too. You wanna to take them apart. Uh, give them a good coat of the Krylon Looking Glass Spray. 
Right after that, we're going to spray them with the vinegar mixture. And then you'll use a paper towel or a napkin to start dabbing off where those water droplets are on the jars. And once it is completely dry, you'll have a gorgeous, beautiful finish. All right, so I saw this really cute wash your hands sign at Target and I thought I'd try to recreate it using a cutting board from Dollar Tree. So what I did is I created a decal and cut it out and weeded it. So that's what it looks like right now. And I kind of sized it so it would fit within the cutting board, but I also want to take my jigsaw to it and cut it out so it'll look more like this shape instead of the rectangle. So what I'm going to do is actually cut around my decal to make a template and I'm going to trace it onto the cutting board and then I will take it down to my workshop and use my jigsaw to cut it out. Once it's cut out and sanded, I'll make sure to use my black chalk paint to give it all a good coat or two and then I'll add my decal on top to give me a one dollar a uh, sign that is well over that if you were to purchase it at Target. All right, so here's my cutting board all cut out. I liked using that orbital sander because it helped me kind of shape where there were some rough edges and also helped me round out these corner edges. But obviously you don't have to do any of that. You could leave it the way it is, paint it black, stick a decal on it, still looks super cute. I'm a little going overboard with this, but I think it's gonna be way more closer to the original. So that's kind of why I'm going through this process. But now I have a drill bit. I wanna drill holes into these little sections, rounded sections on the sides. 
so it'll look like the metal piece. So once I get those holes drilled, then I'll go ahead and paint. All right, here's my board all cut and sanded and painted and dried and ready to go. Now I can add my decal onto the front. Again, this is one that I will have in my Etsy shop and I'll link that down in the description box below. I'm just gonna apply this right onto the front. Thank you so, so much again to the original Super Glue for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link to Super Unix that you can find down in the description box below. And also don't forget to check the other links that I have down there for you, including our bathroom remodel and also links to the decals that are available in my Etsy shop. If you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well, and select all so you don't miss any of my upcoming DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll See you next time. Bye everyone.